Hello everybody and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Gamsting. This map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website. And this map is for PC and Mac only. Uh, this map apparently uh, was also a, uh, a map that was available in Farm Sim 15. Uh, I just learned of it when it hit the mod hub. I had not heard about this map before. But uh, there were some folks that had played Farm Sim 15 that were saying they were very excited and were was hoping to uh, see this map make its way to Farm Sim 17. And here it is. So let's go ahead and jump on in. And uh, while the map's loading up, I'll read a brief little bit of the description. I'm going to go ahead and just use our gator for this tour. I'm go ahead and leave the DLCs checked that we've got. Go ahead and pull up the log while the map loads. It says, Welcome to the beautiful Gamsting, in the middle of the mountainous region of the Bavarian foothills of the Alps. Gamsting Valley is almost entirely cut off from its environment. Uh, this map is very, very beautiful with respect to the, uh, the scenery. Uh, map goes on, it, the description goes on for a while, but uh, you can read that in the description or you can read it over at the Farm Sim website. Uh, this probably would be a very good map uh, to use the Bavarian um, Geo, the Southern Bavarian Geo that came out recently. So let's go ahead and jump on in here. So the first thing you will notice is there are gold nuggets on the map. Uh, they're quite prolific all over the place. Fairly easy to get your first 10. Uh, I'm going to have to avoid them in order to not uh, clutter up the PDA itself. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and look at that. So here we have the map itself. You can see the map has 73 fields, uh, some fairly large fields in the south here, uh, but then some fairly small and manageable fields also scattered about. Fair number of grass fields, as you can see. We have our standard crops on this map uh, without sugarcane. And we start out by owning field 7, 17, 49 and 56. We have start with nothing in our silos. So we do this video on hard mode and on hard mode, there's nothing that we start out with. We have one main cell point for most of our crops, a couple other cell points for hit and miss crops and uh, commodities here. We actually have two BGAs on the map. We have a cell point for wool, two cell points for wood chips, and you'll notice that we also have two cell points for straw pellets map if you have the straw harvest add-on. Here's a listing of our starting equipment, a fairly decent list of starting equipment. It is all very new and all owned. Nothing is in the least column. Let's go ahead and take out a loan so we can buy some animals as we move about the map. And as you see, we own all three animal types on this map. We have sheep, pigs, and cows. We do not start with any, and there's nothing in the various feed troughs. Our silo has a capacity of 100,000 liters, and as I said, we do have nuggets. Let's go ahead and drop our block back to real time, and let's go ahead and look at our starting fleet. We start out with three tractors that range in horsepower from 88 to 145. We have our K1660 harvester and a New Holland 5.90 harvester. Nice small corn header, a row crop header, and a grain header for our case. And the same for our New Holland harvester. We've got two header trailers, two tippers, small plow, small seeder, and the row crop seeder, the Amazon row crop seeder here. Two slurry spreaders, manure spreader, a couple front weights. Got the side mower, tether, windrower, forage wagon, and a power washer. Actually, we have three power washers. And if you do have the straw harvest add-on, you will notice here that we do have the pellet haul and the pallet selling point uh, included as base equipment. Oops. Sell that. If you do not have the straw harvest add-on, it's fine. These items just won't be in map. Uh, wherever this building is will just be a, an empty lot that you can put something down in. So it's not like you have to own 
the straw harvest add-on to, uh, to to play this map. Just won't appear. As you can see, nothing in the least area. Let's go ahead and get that gator and let's lease that up so that we can drive around and explore the map. And while we're doing that, let's check out and see where we reset point is on the map. The reset point is right up here in the north at the north farm where our cows and sheep are sheep are. Uh, the pigs are down here in the southern farm, which is more centered to the map itself. Let's go ahead and explore the uh, northern farm here. Like I said, we're going to try to avoid these nuggets so that we don't uh, get our 10 nuggets and clutter up the map. So here we have our reset point right next to Mr. Scarecrow. And uh, what I've found when I explored this map is all the details that are all over the place. Lots of these doors work. Um, you know, when you have some downtime, maybe come and just check every door and see see what happens. I was surprised at how many doors actually worked on the map and weren't uh, weren't just static you know, images. That door works. This door here works. A couple doors here. This door back here works. Okay. Up here, this door here works. Another little part of the shed. Get our fuel trigger for uh, for this part. Oh, there's another nugget. This farm. Sheds. Cedar. Here we've got our chickens and the chicken gate works. Look at that. Come in here to our chicken coop. And in here we have a large bit of our uh, our starting equipment for this farm. We've got our case tractor, our harvester, and our header. Little old uh, one, two, four row crop corn header. And here is our silo for the uh, for the northern farm. Our dump point and our fill point there. Here we've got our plow. We've got even more building storage in here. Here's our wash bay with our power washer. Another nugget. Some more general storage and our basketball. Uh, air ball. So let's go check out our. Oh, here we have a blue weight. Surprised that this isn't painted red because we've got uh, all case equipment up here. Another nugget. So now we have to look at our cow farm or our cow area. So our cow area is down here. Here we have our two bunkers for our cows. See where the triggers start? Uh, not too bad with respect to the line of these retaining walls. Uh, we're going to see over at the BGAs that the triggers extend way beyond the walls, which is kind of interesting. Not so necessarily a bad thing, uh, just uh, rather interesting. Uh, like these, like these details. These little, uh, I guess these are, are uh, stickers or whatever. Maybe, uh, maybe awards won at a, uh, a local uh, fair or something. Not sure, what those are. So right here we've got our trigger to buy our cows. Get some cows in here. This is also where your your feed trough is, your feed trigger, and your straw trigger, I believe. So those textures are a little messed up. 
Just noticed that. Uh, okay. Let's pick up Solomon. There's another nugget. There's a slurry spreader in here. And over here you have your water trough. Your manure point. And the cows, if you see, they go way, they, they extend way up on around the, uh, the hillside there. And uh, come back around. It's pretty cool. Just about every gate you're going to find is going to open. But just about every gate you're going to find is going to open up and be animated. This is not a trigger. This is just decoration. With that nugget. So this is also a nice, a very nice detail that I liked about here. This is kind of, I guess, your, uh, oh, shoot. Got a nugget. It's another nugget down there. You got yourself kind of a milking parlor, I guess, kind of setting up to uh, kind of be a milking area. So we do have our milk tank here around the side. We do have a gate here that I suppose maybe you could um, put the uh, milk fill trigger up here or something. Uh, there is a dairy on the map, so you could, uh, could uh, you know, s emulate uh, delivering milk or whatever. So our sheep uh, delivery point is actually right here. Rather interesting. Down here at the base of the uh, the sheep area. This gate works. Sheep farm is over here. And up here we've got our water trough. There's the entrance to the sheep area. We have our wool spawn point, And then we have our grass trough over here. Not a lot going on other than that. Some storage. Let's run back over here and uh, pick up our gator. And continue on with the tour. But a trend, that, a common theme that you're going to see across this whole map is the uh, wonderful views all over the place. Given the fact that this is, you know, kind of the storyline is this is in a uh, mountainous valley, mountains all around. They definitely have mountainous areas all around here. That is definitely the case. All right, so here we go. New mount, and we'll try to drive as best we can around like this. I mean, that sometimes we run into problems. Just going to drive on through the bunker here to get out. I'll go ahead and take the main road. That road will extend on up into a, a forested area. I understand from uh, someone that really liked this map in Farm Sim 15 that the uh, the forestry network is quite extensive and quite detailed. Uh, so we're going to probably drive around one um, during our, our tour, but uh, we'll just leave that for, uh, for a little bit later as we just uh, kind of drive around here. So there's the sheep farm off to our left, and we do have a uh, a building here. One of those <laughs> I always want to call it a Kwanzaa hut, but it's not that. Um, whatever these things are, I basically determined that I'm never going to remember the name to those things. Let's go ahead and go this way. So let me know in the comments, um, is this a map that you played, you all played back in uh, Farm Sim 15? And if so, uh, what would you think of it?
We are at field eight. Let's take a look at that. So we do have missions. I'm currently blocking where the uh, spawn point is. 2.1 hectares, 84, almost $85,000. Wrong button. And now I guess we're uh, we're driving around here to a. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and check out the uh, the forestry area now, or one of the forestry areas. It appears that this road just winds around to that. A couple grass fields on our left and right. Nice beet field. And uh, look at this. The the lay of the land is really nice. I like how this works. Kind of have. Uh, the sense of natural geography, the way, uh, the way things flow. I don't know if we necessarily would have a paved road through here. That just seems a little bit weird. Be a uh, paved road here. But, uh, let's go. Let's go off road a little bit, and just drive through here. Very dense, very dense forest. Nice. Nice way the roads are done here. Well, we've got a little bit of a clearing, and as such, we've got some growth, um, some grass growth and some shrub growth here along the roadway, and not so much back in the deep woods where you're not getting a lot of sunlight down to the floor. So that's pretty, pretty interesting and fairly lifelike, uh, realistic, if you will. Kind of an opening up here for uh, potential to, uh, to kind of have a clearing to do some of your forestry work. Now here we're back out to the uh, paved road. Uh, we do have, interesting enough, we do have on the map a drivable train. And uh, what the heck, let's just go ahead and tab into that drivable train. Uh, the train is rather interesting because all it does is it just goes up and down this track. Uh, it doesn't really go anywhere other than that. Go ahead and zoom out here. You'll see what I mean. Nice church up here on the hill. Nice um, houses up there on the hill, kind of a little town. Go in here in the tunnel. Come out the other side here. We got another forested area. I like the guardrails, kind of, kind of coming down the hill there. Everything very interesting. We're gonna BGA is one of the BGAs is right up there um, in the corner. Just jump back in the uh, cab again, and the train basically once it gets through this magic wall. Uh, you'll see it kind of just uh, we're well we are just do an interesting 180 and uh, there we go we're gonna make our way back out look on this side this time and it just goes across the map and then when it gets to the other side of the map it will just basically do the same thing so there's the pellet hall you get right there that's part of the straw harvest pellet hall haven't found the, um, have not found the, uh, the pallet cell point yet. Got a, uh, old abandoned castle up there. This is where the train started. Here's we got a giant cross up there on top of the mountain. And then, like I said, the train just goes into, uh, I'm going to jump out here. The train just goes in there and eventually it would turn around and come back out this way. A little interesting that we have a drivable train, simply from the fact that it really doesn't do anything. 
um, rather than drive across the map and back. There aren't any train only cell points. You need to use the train. But it would be something uh, real nice to use Loco Drive for to just uh, have the train running and everything. I didn't check this before. Because when I first looked around the map, I just kind of jumped around to some places. But given the number of things that are animated, I'm wondering, does this door open? I'd have been really surprised if it did work. So I thought, what the hey, let's check. Let's make our way on up here to the, the Baywa selling point. right here. Come on in. Now let's just go ahead and drive over the dump here. Yeah. Then let's just spin around real quick. And then we also have, I believe this is a fill trigger for seed. I believe that's what that is supposed to be indicating. Uh, this is probably a fill trigger for liquid fertilizer. And this is probably a fill trigger for, well, even though it looks like seed, this may be, I don't know. So that's solid fertilizer, liquid, and seed. Or this is solid fertilizer, and that's seed. But either rate, there are fill triggers for things. Go ahead and continue on around. Just pause here and let's take a look across. We got traffic over all kinds of roads. Just look how the fields, you know, we're in a valley. So, of course, the fields are are uh, kind of flowing the, 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 the idea of a valley. Where it's low in the middle and higher on either side. Go ahead and cut down this road to the uh, next cell point. And I believe, no, I'm not, no, I'm incorrect. Not what I was thinking. This guardrail here protecting you from uh, plowing into the building. Got a uh, truck. That's interesting. Notice how the truck is. Uh, it's either a deliberate detail or just an oopsie daisy. But uh, this truck has pulled itself way too far close. Uh, this truck is, you know, looks like it's hanging out over the, uh, compared to this, this uh, SUV. This truck here looks like it's hanging out way over. Probably just a, uh, it's, I'm probably reading way too much into the, uh, to that as far as a planned detail. At our way scale there. And this particular cell point is right here. They will take our corn, sunflower, or corn, canola, wheat, and barley. Okay. And in addition to having these huge buildings on either side here that you can. Uh, Put equipment in because the doors do function. Here's your grain dump. It's just we have a fuel trigger here. Go ahead and store things in either of these two buildings. Let's go ahead and exit this way. And make her way up to that cell point there on the hill, I think. It's the next one.
And this particular cell point is for wood chips. So the uh, wood chips are right here. And another couple of nuggets here. Let's make our way around to the uh, the sage work. see where we go from there. This is that uh, this is that hill I think that's that's got the uh, I think that's the peak. It's got the cross on top. See, does this, uh, is this bunker function, or is it just decoration? Oh, this is, does function as a uh, silage clamp. You have uh, another potential storage area here. doors take us back that is the uh, the log cell point I believe Wish to sell logs on the uh, train. Let's head. Let's go this way and head on up here to the uh, the spinnery and the BGA. See our cows and our sheep there that's our starting farm little station here man that's a nice sharp bend Really detailed, really a tra Oh, look at that. We got a nice construction zone with a nugget in it. Like I said, the nuggets are very easy to find. It's not going to be too difficult for you to get your, uh, your 10 nuggets. Just uh, follow this road. Let's just go ahead and cab here. I experienced the map a little bit from um, this perspective. Our wool cell point is no. wool cell point is right on in here. And right here is where you're going to sell your wool. Right there at that pallet mark on the ground. Guess we need to go this way to get to the BGA. Should be right over there. Road. Now that's the road we need to be on. How we get. I guess maybe we turn here and come down, and then we can go up. I 
is good. Oh, don't chonk your horns. I'm out of town, or I'm looking for how to get out of get out of here. Okay. Come on down this way. Then we can come under the bridge. And then make our way up to the BGA this way. It's going to be uh, interesting if you want to bring in a very big trailer. That's for sure. Here to the BGA. That, that's a uh, bee house. See the bees coming in now. That's pretty cool. A couple bee houses here. I don't think you want to be driving here in a uh, with your windows down. Right? And check out this field. 2.43 hectares, $98,000. I do know the biggest field on the map here is field 73. It's around 9 hectares in size. Nice, nice dense forest on to our right. We've got nice fields. Just flowing with the land on our left here. Make our way up here to the biogas plant. And here we are at the biogas plant. Come on in here. We got. So sheds here for you know your BGA equipment if you want to leave it up here into our scale make our way around got your silo king here then your two silage bunkers now if we look at our F1 menu look at where we get chaff indicator is right there so look how far away we are from those bunker walls that's the way it is for both both of these is way out here so you'd be able to really fill this thing same holds for this side don't lose that indicator until way way out here about where the pavement ends talking about filling these bunkers up huh And then around the corner we have our digestate. We have our digestate. This map is uh, prepared for the hose system. And let me jump back here to the cow area. I didn't show you this because I kind of forgot. I forgot because I didn't see it. I didn't see it to, re to, to talk about it. Right here is the uh, slurry uh, trigger for the uh, the cows, and you see in here we got an animated fan pulling blade on a on a motor hooked up to a generator, and uh, it's basically I guess stirring up the uh, slurry. And if you look in there, real nice and close, you can see the slurry moving, um, moving around. I don't know if you can see that. Let's try to get a look closer. That was pretty pretty neat detail there. Uh, we've got the hose system, so you can hang your hose up here. This is where you would hook the hose up to if uh, if you use something that you was using the hose hose system. Let's jump back over here. And the reason I wanted to point that out is that you not only have the hose um, node right here. But if you have something that you can just dip uh, a, a sucker hose down into, you can just dip it down into there and, um, and suck the digestate out that way. Slowly trying to learn a little bit about this hose system um, thing. Go ahead and... Uh, down here. See if we can't make our way south. So it looks like this road might uh, 
connect up with the main road. Just looking across the uh, across the valley there. I think this would probably be quite the struggle with uh, MR simply because of the way the fields flow. Yeah, uh, the the natural way the fields flow, the hills. Be a struggle with MR. I mean, this field right here is that is rather steep for for MR. So we're gonna get in. Where we like it again. Make our way up this way. And then we'll double back to the shop. Kind of missed the shop there, didn't we? So the animal dealer is uh, using a rather interesting building. Not a, a typical building you would really associate with uh, a livestock merchant. Road. Did I miss the road to get in there? I did. Oh. That's the other problem with driving way out like this is I miss entrances. I'm I'm just not uh, I'm not really paying that much attention uh, to where I'm going as much as trying to avoid running into things and keeping the camera free. Here's our entrance into. Livestock auction. And the reason is it, it really looks like one of those uh, dairies that you usually see. The trigger for buying your animals is right here. Okay. Head and head back down. The, uh, I mean, look at that. You don't even realize it's such a huge hill until you look at it sideways. Make our way down here to the uh, to the vehicle shop. And then we'll head up to the pig farm, I guess. Shop is directly ahead of us. A big bridge. Yeah, I just saw the, uh, so under that bridge, there was a drainage culvert. And I just thought, you know what would be really neat is after a rain, if uh, drainage culverts and stuff flowed with uh, water uh, while it was raining and a little bit after the rain, that would be pretty neat. Here we have our vehicle shop. Got our repair and customized trigger. Want to go in here and buy ourselves some machinery? That it's a. Uh, I like how this building just kind of fits in here. Doesn't really look out of place. All right. So, right there. Let's take that road up. That road will go straight to the uh, pig farm. Just look across here. Just slowly pan across and. Stuff. Check out that big bridge over there. The field 49 here on our. Whoa, just drive across there. 
So field 49, which is right here. Uh, this is a field that we own. Uh, way over there, that is the animal dealer. This is a dairy uh, that's non-functional. There's no triggers or anything there. That's where you could put the uh, the milk cell point. Let's check something. We have collisions on these. Oh, we don't. These are magical utility poles that we can just warp through. Okay. The so hired help and course play will just ignore those. And here we are at the uh, the pig farm. So we have additional equipment up here. Pig farm. Got our own uh, BMW. Um, we're doing a little work on our BMW. Looks like we got a real problem. This house for our pig farmer. These cool doors open up. Really cool details in here. We got ourselves our side mower, forage wagon, our tether in our Oh, that tether's been backed in there. Pick. Bundles of split wood. So there's a mod I just saw in the mod hub today that is a uh, a chopping block. You can put down on the ground, and then you put your, your wood up on top of that, and then uh, you uh, you hit it, I guess, with the axe, the axe, the hand mod, the axe hand mod. So here's a cell point for hay and straw. this here's your egg cell point oh, isn't that an interesting isn't that an interesting detail the egg cell point is a uh, is an is a little egg uh, um, merchant sit up here in the corner pretty cool another basketball Probably where our manure is going to pile up. Right across the street from the church. It's not very cool. So, first I thought, oh look, this is another cool... Uh, this is where the slurry is for... Um, for the, the, the uh, pigs. But if I look at the menu up here, there's no trigger here at all. we got another cool generator with the little spinner thing. And then we've got a PTO hookup for the pump pump it up, but uh, walk all around here and there's no triggers. Um, but the slurry point is... I get a trigger in the corner here somewhere. Fuel. Another silo for our uh, pigs. Here it is. So up here I get the trigger for the slurry. And we have the slurry spreader over here. So I think that's just decoration. See, there isn't any sort of a trigger or anything around this. But it would be cool if uh, maybe you can drop your, uh, your suction thing in here and suck it up. I don't know. Be pretty cool. But you definitely get the, the slurry trigger when you walk up to this one. Your crop storage. And then your pig. There's a uh, silage bunker down here. Then up here you have your pigs. Here we can buy our pigs. And there they are. And this was neat. Got these gates. Quick. Go through here and shut these all up.
course, these guys are just going to walk through them now. Got uh, piping here for our water and our food. Here's here, I suppose, for our food and our straw water in here. If that's different, let me know, guys. Uh, like I said I didn't actually, I haven't actually tried to uh, to feed our pigs or anything. Here's where our here's where our manure piles up. Not over there. Keep on rolling. Church. All right, we're getting closer to our gator because there's the BMW. There it is. Just crossed here. Yeah, it's just beautiful sights. I can, I could see working the uh, fields here and not really caring about how long it takes because I'm busy just, uh, just taking a look around. Things. Let's just go ahead and uh, come on around this way. So we'll go this way. And uh, pick up a couple more of these uh, cell points and make our way around to the last BGA. Got a golf course? Holy cow, look at that. I did not even see that the first time around. Got ourselves a little golf course. Somebody needs to uh, do a little golf mod, a little golf club, and we come in here and just uh, and use that as opposed to uh, you know, the axe or the chainsaw, make it a hand tool. Drop the little ball and just whack it. Be pretty cool. First golf course on Farm Sim map, as far as I know. A real resort here, pond or lake and a pool. Golf course lawnmower. Check that. Out. It's pretty neat. Water needs to be cleaned a little bit. We got some gunk, looks like, here top of the water, but uh, take a little boat ride. We need a we need a mod that is a little rowboat. That we can haul on a little trailer and drop in there and just putter around on the uh, on the water. Get a little fishing rod mod. Toss it in the water and just uh, chill out in summer when uh, when all the field work's done and there isn't anything else to do in seasons. Just bring your little boat down here, row out there, and just uh, fish all day. Coming up with all kinds of exciting ideas. Okay. This way, right? We've got another cell point, and this one is for wheat and barley alone. A little restaurant up here. And oh my goodness, look at that. 
What a view. See why somebody would want to come up here and eat. Let's look out across the valley. There's the uh, there's the castle. There's the uh, train line. That's the uh, wood chip. That's a uh, that's actually the sage work. I don't think maybe we missed that entirely. Uh, you can sell wood chips down there. There's the dairy. There's the animal dealer way over there. BGA is way over here. Way over there. One of them is. And then the other BGA is, uh, I guess, in that general direction. Two nuggets. Be careful. Here's the grain dump for the uh, restaurant. other view oh that's pretty cool that's pretty neat don't want to come in here with any high bales stacked on a bale trailer might have to be careful coming in here with a big M might be too high for you Map is very, very nice. I really like this map. Um, over on the uh, the Italian multiplayer server, Roy was uh, really talking this map up. I can, I can see why. Um, one would would really just uh, kind of fall in love with this map, or uh, or really find themselves just spending a lot of time on this map compared to. Uh, to some other maps, that's that's for sure. We've already been there, haven't we? Let's turn around. We've already been to that. Been there, done that, and then we went that other direction. Or this way. On make our way up here to uh, Sudzucker and road right here, and just cut across between these two big fields. Those probably. Um, Collision free. This way. Here, any map that has driving on the le on the right, I enjoy. <laughs> People will comment that I'm always driving on the wrong side of the road on uh, on certain certain maps. Oh, not a uh, not the turn off I wanted, but uh, check this out. We got an old uh, tether. Down here, that's just been abandoned. Pretty cool. Pretty cool detail. Sudzucker. Now this is the Duray we want to go. Man, there's lots of parking lots of parking here. Must be a very big uh, business to have all these parking spaces. On in here. And make her way around. And then the trigger to this is a should be a sugar beet cell point. Yep, sugar beets. 
and the trigger is either to the left or right of this section. We can go either way. Dump. Then we'll find our way back out. Let's do it. Look at that. A lot of cars for uh, for the workers here at this uh, particular area. Field 73 here is the biggest field. We'll go ahead and check out that size and price here. Field uh, 72. 1.93 hectares. Field 73 is... 9.65 hectares, $390,000, nice $70,000 to be collected in uh, doing a sugar beet harvest mission on that field. Lots of really nice details all over the place, Got little uh, sheds with signs all over, either make use of or, or just not, you know. It's probably isn't a flat field on the map. It's, it's an array of solar collectors there. And I need to figure out how to get the day. It looks like if we just keep on this road, we'll eventually get around to a road that we can uh, take. We could drive through the woods, I think, to uh, to get to that, but we've got two real dense forests on either side of us at this point. So we were, we're coming up to a place. Let's see if this one has it, too. The one back there had dirty... Yeah, look at that. So we got dirt tracks across the road where people have come across. I saw it back there on the road. That was a really nice detail. Again. Got a little, uh, huh. What's that? We got a, like a little gypsy, little gypsy thing here, and a little campground. And I wouldn't necessarily, you know, a little old uh, watering hole. It is really nice detailing. I really like that. So this is the road we want to take. There's the BGA. Field 54 is, I think, around 8 hectares in size. It's not the biggest, but it's one of the bigger ones. Sure. And here we go into the, uh, the final area that we're going to look at during the map video is the uh, the southern BGA and this building I saw on a couple other maps and uh, here we are again with it so this is this is a rather interesting very wide very flat bunker you get our chaff trigger kind of curious how far above this uh, wall we can uh, pile our chaff it's fairly wide Here is our digestate trigger. Nice reflection on the water here that's been collecting. And then we can uh, bring our and dump our um, our silage in there. Or go in here. Open the door. Let's open the door. key turn or opens up and now we can pull in and dump it down there should we wish a scale here and then all of these doors open this is really really neat so 
that door opens up from the side. Fuel trigger. And then around here at the bottom, steps work. Go in here. I have storage in here. Put them with the key. And then these little doors work too. Got the engine room. Complete with engine sounds. Uh, oh, did you see that? Let's let's look at that again. The uh, the sign moves when you open the door. Pretty cool. All these little doors open to expose all these cool little things. In this building. So guys, that is Gamsting uh, over at the Farming Simulator dot com um, mod hub. It is for PC and Mac only, at least currently. Do not know if it's going to be available for console. I don't see why it wouldn't be. I don't see anything uh, in the map that would kind of um, trigger to me that uh, that it would not be a console friendly map. But at any rate, uh, if you liked the video, please click the like button. Let me know in the map in the comments what you think of the map in general. How, did you play this map on uh, 15? Uh, did this map maybe come out before 15? Was it available on 13? How long has this map been around? I'm kind of curious on that. So until next time, guys, happy farming.